Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Still have some of the colors of sunrise out there in the Gulf. Some little waves breaking on the shore this morning. Beautiful out here. I'm in area one at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, the very south end of the park. Clear sky. Hey, look at that. A little hard to see the water. Come down here to the water's edge. Looks nice and clear this morning. No red tide warnings. Still doing good here. Nice and clear. Hard to see here without the sun going up. Absolutely beautiful. A few folks out here walking the beach already. It's looking down to the south. Yeah, beautiful clear sky this morning. No clouds. Well, it was good to see Roy yesterday. I hope you enjoyed my visit with him yesterday. We had a good time. He's doing really well. He's dying to get back to the beach though. Looking forward to seeing Roy out here myself. Get back to our the good old days of my beach walks. Where we, the highlight of my beach walk was chatting with Roy out here on the beach. We had some great conversations out here. Just gonna walk up the beach a little ways. Do the best I can without the gimbal, sorry. Every day, I'm getting a little closer to replacing that gimbal. Got a couple little contributions yesterday towards it. I'm up to about $220 of the $300 I need to replace the gimbal. So we're getting there. Still pretty flat out there in the Gulf. 
Where's our dolphins at, huh? So, I saw a couple yesterday, just for a, just for a few minutes. Just making their way up and down the beach. Just never know when those dolphins are gonna come by. We don't know where they're gonna come by or when. Sometimes they just hang around in one spot for a half hour. Other times they just swim right on by you. Roy and I have had some awesome dolphin encounters out here though. Dolphin sightings. Boy, there is a lot of sand been piled up on this beach down here. I haven't been down in Area 1 here for a while. And it looks like we've got, got a lot of sand down here. A lot of new sand, maybe. Colors are starting to fade out there now. Hey, good morning, guys. How's the fishing? Pretty good. Yeah? The pretty cool oh, did I? Uh, did they come in close? They're about with a, a boom up. Oh, wow. Darn it. The other day, I saw you as I was leaving. They were out all morning. So you that. Yeah, yeah, I figured that's what they were doing. Yeah, they were every hundred foot. Right? Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, so the dolphins have already been by here this morning once. They must be coming by earlier. The problem is it's too dark to film them. If I come out here any earlier. Can't see him out, out in the water. He said they were just out here a little while ago. One of the fishermen walking by said he saw a couple dolphins leaping out of the water. Darn it. I was wondering why we weren't seeing them. So apparently they're swimming by earlier. And then they come by in the afternoon too. So. Just got to be patient with dolphins. Really, not many shells here around in area one. The tide's still coming in here. So it looks like all of our sea turtle nests are gone now. The ones that were going to hatch have hatched, and the ones that didn't hatch, they have been taken down. We had a record number of sea turtle nests on the beach, but we also had our fair share of problems with red tide and things this year. And that affected the nests. What happened with the red, red tide is nobody came to the beach. Because of the red tide, the, our beaches were pretty much empty for months throughout the summer. So there wasn't any 
trash in the trash cans, you know, from leftovers from picnics and everything. And the raccoons had nothing to eat here, and they resorted to digging into the sea turtle nests and eating the eggs. So we lost a lot of sea turtle nests. It's kind of sad. The water is absolutely gorgeous here this morning. Really nice and clear down here. Thankfully. Just gonna walk a little further up the beach here again. I apologize for the bumpy ride here. It's the best I can do without that gimbal. like some fishermen up ahead of me. Up in area. Eh, it looks like they're up in the north end of area two. Like all the good shells might be out here in the water. Maybe right along, there's a little ridge line down here. And might, that might be where all the good shells are right now. If you're new to these beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. There's a dolphin coming right up here towards us. There we go. There's one. See if we can spot them over here. See them there? One or two of them there. Here he comes. All right, where'd he go? Staying under for a long time here. <laughs> there he is. Guessing where he's gonna come up here. Where'd he go? There he is. Probably see him come up one more time here. There he is. He's not gonna hang around. Catch him once more. Where'd he go? There he is. Sweet. We got to see one dolphin, that was nice. Maybe we'll see another one swimming up here. Keep my eyes peeled. He's just slowly making his way up the beach.
They're definitely out there. Gorgeous out here this morning. That clear blue sky. Getting bluer now. The sun's still not up over the trees though. Well, one dolphin. One dolphin's better than no dolphins. So, you know what I say, we see, if we see a dolphin during our beach walks, that means if we're gonna have a good day, it's a good luck, a good luck charm seeing a dolphin. Really, nothing in the way of shells along the beach here. Again, I'm down in area one, down at the south end of the park. It seems that the better, the better shells are up to the north of us. Up, at the, up in area four, areas three and four seem to be the better areas for shelling at Del Norwegians. left to somebody's sand castle over here. Sand castles. Here it looks like a little little sand sculpture of some sort. A fish, I don't know what was it, a fish, a dolphin, a whale. <laughs> A little pile of shells. <laughs> Nothing much down there. Come on, let's see one more dolphin here. beautiful out here. I don't think it's going to be as hot today as it was yesterday. I think we're going to stay in the upper 80s. I don't think we're going to get to 90 today, thankfully. It's absolutely gorgeous right now. I didn't check the temperature. 
but it's beautiful. The water temperature's slowly dropping. That's another good thing. The colder the water, the less chance of getting any of that. We're having that red tide come back. It doesn't like cold water. I think I spotted another dolphin. Let me see here. I just saw some ripples. Very, very slow moving dolphin. Here. Where is it a bird? Where is it fish? Can't tell what it is out there. Might have been a school of fish. I saw the water swirling around out there. Okay, what was it? And where did it go? The dolphin, see it over there? Very, very slow moving. There it was. Moving to the north. It's pretty dark out here. The camera's having a tough time focusing. You can see him surfacing there. He or she. Just moving incredibly slow. See if it comes up again. Where did you go? Old dolphin. I swear there's one out there. There it is. There's looks like maybe two of them. Maybe there was two of them over there. Hard to tell. They're not coming out of the water. Which is barely breaching the surface there. Yep, behind those birds. There. There you go. Right behind the birds. That was cool. Sorry about the shaky camera work, folks. The best I can do without that gimbal. Now they might come up there to one, two. Moving really, really slow. One, two. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What a great way to start the day, huh? Seeing two beautiful dolphins swimming by. So that makes three dolphins that we saw this morning. Wish they'd come in closer for us. We've had them come right up to the shoreline. Where does go? Come on, focus there, camera. Getting ahead of me now. The bird's diving out there in the water. Maybe we'll see him one more time here. It's too dark for the camera to focus on that water. There they go. Awesome. 
Awesome. Another dolphin sighting. Two dolphin sightings this morning. That was great. Look at that sky. Look how blue that is. Just absolutely incredible. That's how the dolphin are here. They just swim back and forth, up and down the beach all day long. You never know when they're gonna come by, but if you hang, if you hang out here for a while, you're pretty much guaranteed to see some dolphins. That was very cool. That made my morning. Got my weekend off to a great start. I don't know about you, but I'm happy now. Sun's just hitting the tops of the trees over there, getting some beautiful colors. Need a little more of a breeze out here. A couple no CMs are getting me here. Water is gorgeous, nice and clear. Morning. Absolutely beautiful. Are we gonna see any more dolphins come by? Where there's times where they just one pod after another of dolphins will swim by. I was out here oh, three, four Sundays ago. It was just pod of dolphin after pod of dolphin going by. And here comes a bunch of pelicans. You see them out there? They're so fun to watch, the pelicans and the dolphins. They kind of go hand in hand, the pelicans and the dolphins. Look at them just hovering above the water out there. That is so cool. It's really fun watching the pelicans diving for fish. See the water rippling right out here in front of me. Oh, the dolphin just came right by me here. And I wasn't even watching him. He just came right by in front of me here. I can't believe it. I just missed the dolphin right under my nose. He's right out here in front of me. Where'd he go? Oh, now he's up here. Darn it. He just came right under my nose and I missed him. I was following the pelicans. See if you see him come up. I can't. I can't chase him without that gimbal. I am so sorry. I'd be chasing after the dolphin right now. He's just swimming up the shore. See him up there? But without that gimbal, I can't follow after him. Can't run alongside of him. Darn it. So cool. See if we see him pop up again. That's number four. Where'd he go? Might be heading out in the deeper water. There he is, he just came up. He's 
very close to shore. Darn it. He's so depressed. This guy is just swimming up the beach up here. Uh, watch that sun there. He's just swimming right along the shoreline here. And there's nothing I can do. I can't chase after him. Darn it. There's a family up there. They got a nice little show. Well. Any more going to come by? I got to get that gimbal. So close. Hopefully next week we'll have it. The gimbal takes all the shake out of the camera. And it actually, I have actually run up and down the beach with the gimbal following the dolphins. I could have done that this morning if I had it, but oh well. When the time is right, it will happen. We've seen four dolphins go by so far. We saw one, then two, then one. There is a family of five of them out here. I've seen a pod of five swimming by. Start making my way back down to where we started. If we're lucky, maybe we'll catch one more dolphin. Good morning. There's a little Sliver of light hitting the water here. Let's see if we can see how clear it is down here. Absolutely beautiful, no red tide. Just saw some waves. Something breaking the surface up here. Could have been just a little rogue wave. Let's 
something out there. Could be fish. Something right out there. the surface by now if it was if it was a dolphin. Nope. It's just amazing how they can kind of sneak up on you too. Be standing along the beach, walking along the beach and all of a sudden you just hear the in the air coming out of their blowhole. And you look and there's a dolphin next to you. So what happens usually in the mornings First thing, the dolphins will be swimming from the north, which is this direction, to the south. Then they go down the beach a ways, then they turn around and they'll come back up. And they kind of do that all throughout the day, swim back and forth. So the ones we've seen this morning have been swimming to the north, this way. So they usually go up, oh, there's some pelicans. Can you see them out there? More pelicans. So the dolphins usually go up to the north. They go up to oh, around Wiggins Pass. Sometimes they go in the pass. And then they'll come back out and they'll swim back down the beach a little later. There's quite a few families of them that we see here swimming by. There's two boats anchored offshore way out there fishing. They must have came across a big school of fish. They're way down to the south there, southwest. Not much of a morning for shelling. I just wanted to come down here to area one though this morning and see what it looked like down here. We haven't been down here for a while. Quite a few boats out there. If you look close, you can see one out there on the horizon going to the left. A little shaft of sunlight here hitting the water. It's absolutely gorgeous.
perfect morning for a beach walk here. Weather-wise, it's absolutely beautiful. So we saw four dolphins this morning. That was pretty nice. We could have had a really we just missed a really good dolphin sighting. If I had had that darn gimbal, I'd have been able to follow a dolphin right up the beach this morning, but there's no way I can run with this camera like this. I can barely walk with it. <laughs> there's a nice little patch of light on the water. There you go now. Yeah, get a little better look at the water there. See how clear it is. Beautiful down here. In area one. You see the reflections on the bottom. Sun's just not quite up over the trees yet. It's just starting to hit the tops of the trees there. Look at that blue sky. Blue sky all around. People starting to show up now. They open the gates at 7.30. On the website, it says the park officially opens at 8 a.m. But they do open the gates a little earlier at 7.30 now. It's gonna be a beautiful day out here. We're already starting to see our friends from the north arriving. I guess because it's cold up there, people are starting to come down a little earlier. Some of our winter residents, AKA snowbirds, already starting to show up. Our friend Bill, Shark Tooth Bill, will be down here pretty soon from Canada, him and his wife. He always finds some interesting things out in the water. And I'm really looking forward to the day our friend Roy comes back here and I can sit at the beach and share some stories with him. That always made my morning, made our mornings. I did go visit him yesterday in case you didn't see the video. Scroll through my posts here and you'll see that video of my visit with Roy yesterday. That was fun. He played his harmonica for us. Roy is doing well, slowly, slowly healing. I did share a picture of his leg. It's just amazing how much it's improved. I mean, three months ago, the wound on Roy's leg was just a giant hole in his leg. You can see his shin bone and tendons. It was horrible. Now it's all filling in and healing. If you're wondering what that is on the beach in front of me, that's a piece of an old palm tree that washed up here. We had a pretty rough surf when Hurricane Michael was passing to the west of us out here in the Gulf. Washed away a lot of beach to the north of us. Actually caused some minor flooding and the hurricane was about 250 miles away from us out in the Gulf. Let's not forget about all those people whose lives were affected by that hurricane either. They definitely need your prayers and help if you can give them any help, any kind of help. The town of Mexico City is destroyed. Mexico City, Mexico Beach <laughs> was destroyed. Well, 
I guess that's all the dolphins we're gonna see, those four that we saw so far. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Still working on getting the money together for the new gimbal, getting closer up to 220 of the 300. Anybody, anybody wants to help out and make a contribution? You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. At the conclusion of the live feed here. If you enjoy these beach walks, tell your friends. Be sure to hit the share button. Make sure you like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out my photos and videos. We've seen some really, really neat things here. Some neat marine life. Everything from dolphins to sharks to stingrays to crabs. I haven't seen a bald eagle out here yet. We've seen plenty of ospreys, no bald eagles. They do come by the park every once in a while. There's someone will spot a bald eagle here. <clears throat> see all kinds of fish, shorebirds. Met a lot of interesting people here. A lot of whom will be returning. To the beach here so you know probably in the next couple of months a lot of our winter friends naples is a very very diverse community if you're wondering where del norwegans pass state park is it's really easy to get here it's up in the northern end of Collier County, almost on the county line. But if you are on I-75, you get off at exit 111, which is a Mockley Road, a Mockley Road exit 111, and you head west on a Mockley Road. And you just take it all the way to the end, and it just takes you right to the front gate of the park. It couldn't be any easier to get to. If you're on 41, do the same. Get off, turn, go west on Immokalee Road, which is 111th Avenue. It's kind of weird how it's exit 111 and 111th Avenue when you get into Naples Park, North Naples. But just take Immokalee Road west and it'll take you right, just dump you right at the front gate of the park. When you come out here, let them know that you saw Rob on Facebook, Southwest Florida Television. One of our little snowy egret friends walking by. It seems there's more birds, more shells up to the north end of the beach up there. I'll probably go out there tomorrow morning up in area four. I was just curious about what this area looked like, area one down here. I haven't been down here for a while. No shells down here. Ooh, there's an, an ibis, a white ibis just flying by. Just landed on the beach, just landed up. There's some little shorebirds now. We got an ibis. A little snowy egret, some little sandpipers. Hard to see here. The sun still isn't hitting the edge of the water here. That's a, a white ibis there. Where'd the little snowy egret go? I lost him. I can't hold this camera steady with gimbal. I'm sorry, folks. I'm doing the best I can with what I got right now. Well, I got to call it a morning here. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the 
shaky camera work here. There's some little sandpipers running by here. All wonderful signs that life has returned to our beach. The red tide is gone. I'm like a little kid in a candy store here. I don't want to leave. I know as soon as I leave, there's going to be a huge group of dolphins come swimming by. I'm going to walk down here just a little further. The sun is finally hitting the beach down here. And I just want you to get a good look at the water before I sign off. They are with the bouncing here. It's hard walking on the soft sands. Sinking down in it as I walk. morning but here we got the sunlight hitting the beach up here I just want to give you a good look at that water show you just how beautiful it is now gorgeous and we're at high tide now almost at high tide Another couple hours, I think. But there you go. Great day to come out to the beach. Make it a beach weekend. As you're coming down here to the beach, as you're driving in, we got a couple illuminated signs and they're both got wonderful messages on them right now. Just before you get to the entrance of the park, you'll see the signs. The first one you'll see says, life's a beach, enjoy it. That is so true. And the second one says, no red tide. That is a beautiful sight, that sign. I don't think we're gonna catch any more dolphins here this morning. They'll be by a little later, I'm sure. So pack up a picnic lunch and bring the kids and come on down. If you enjoy these beach walks, tell your friend. Remember, nobody pays me to be out here doing this. I love doing it. I love sharing the beauty with you. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info here in the description of this post. And I do thank you, those that have sent a little something. It's all going towards replacing that gimbal right now. We'll have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. If I don't catch you tomorrow, I'll be out here tomorrow morning, but if you missed the feed for some reason, have a great weekend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.